Hey guys, uh, okay, so here is my latest charity shop haul. Uh, we'll go through everything. I'll try and remember all the prices. Uh, I've not really researched everything, so I apologize if I don't give you exact sales numbers here. But um, first up, we have this Happy Feet um, plush. The reason why I got it, I paid a pound, but the reason why I got it was if you turn so anyway, I'll look at the label. It's actually a Builder Bear, uh, which Builder Bear, the standard ones tend not to do too well anymore, but the, uh, the, the the character ones do sort of a lot better. I'll try and get this to focus a bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so these ones do sort of a bit better, really. Um, so that's him. Um, I'm probably expecting about 10 to 12 top end on him on eBay. Uh, got a couple of uh, goodness gang characters. I'm still getting a collection together of these So um, these were like a pound or 50 pence each. I can't really remember um, Yeah, I can't remember how much but I think they were a pound or 50 pence each and That's those guys. Uh, I picked up these. I wasn't really too sure about these uh, They were one pound 50 each but they're um, BT win Z foul like still sealed um, I think it's like motor, motorcycle not motorcycle sorry cyclist like drinking water bottles uh, I wasn't too sure I'm gonna scan them into Amazon and see if they do well there because that could just be a couple of nice little items for Amazon um, so yeah one pound fifty each on those uh, let's go with this guy don't really know much about him it says space loopy uh, park holiday, yeah, park holidays, something. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. So I'm not too sure about him. I paid. Let's have a look. One pound fifty. So it might be like I don't know some holiday resort, but he just looked pretty cool and pretty different. Um, if he's not worth anything, then he'll just get redonated. So yeah, that was one pound fifty. Uh, next up, a couple of Kit Kat mugs. Um, there's nothing really in them in themselves, but I also picked up this. So that's going to be like a nice little Kit Kat bundle. I might throw in some Kit Kats as well and just shove them in there. Um, I've seen little bundles like this go for like ten pounds, and I paid fifty pence per cup and ninety nine pence for that. So yeah, that will go as a bundle. Uh, let's just move these. Okay, so next up, let's get rid of some of these. That's uh, we got a little Buzz Lightyear figure. Uh, this is actually um, about seven pounds ninety nine on eBay, and I paid fifty pence. Uh, I also got a large Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. As a member of the Space Ranger Corps, every day is an adventure. And he still works, and his wings still come out as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, there's quite a lot of these on eBay nowadays. You can, you know, everyone's picking these up uh, quite easily. So there's not as much money <laughs> as they as they used to be. But uh, let me try and yeah, okay. So there's not as much money in these as there used to be, but it's still it's still a good twelve to fifteen pounds. Uh, I paid two on this guy, so uh, okay. So that's that one. Um, let me just pick that up. Okay, so uh, I got this. Reason being is that um, in my last haul, I think I picked up like a Coca-Cola um, napkin holder. And top end that goes for like 12 quid and uh, I got a message from Ben Fitzpatrick who said if you can like bundle up some other coke things maybe he, his idea was actually coke glasses which was a great idea but I never saw any of them so I, I saw this today which was a coca-cola um, like binder I've never seen that before um, so I don't really know but it says ring binder so yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Um, but also I saw this guy, which is a Coca-Cola polar bear with like the heart and the glass and stuff, or the bottle, sorry. Uh, I think I paid 99 pence on him. 
yeah, 99p. Or was it 199? Sorry, 199. Um, so I thought they could maybe just bundle up with the napkin stuff I've got and go to some collector somewhere. Um, next up was this. This was a bit of a fail. I paid £2.50 and it's a sharp, uh, may not focus, unfortunately. There we go. EL531GH. Uh, top end is like 8 quid on this. Uh, it is fully working, but try and focus yeah it is fully working but unfortunately just doesn't go for much so um right next up manchester city mug uh purely only got it it was a pound purely only got it got it because it's christmas and high end or top end about seven or eight quid so unfortunately not much in that uh this was a pretty good find uh this is a Cytec. um AVAR01 joystick, very nice. I mean, this is really is for air shot and aircraft enthusiasts because you've got the little dials and everything, and they all work. And you even flick up before firing, which is fantastic. It's got a Holtas switch, which is cool. All the buttons feel really nice, and it's actually got uh, two throttles. So I've never never seen a joystick with two throttles before. Um, which is pretty cool. I paid two pounds for that RSPCA, and um, it goes for about twenty-five to thirty quid. I've got to give it a, a really good clean, but yeah, twenty-five, thirty quid on eBay, so that's nice. Um, got this as well. Once again, this one not that much in it. It's a Huey, Dewey, and Louie mug. Although it says Donald Duck mug mock and all that kind of stuff i paid two pound 25 because it's disney uh top end is about a tenner in its box so i'll go for that uh this one just some sealed media uh, i paid two pound 50 and this will go up to amazon because uh, on amazon i think there's like i think it's like 10 15 quid so yeah that'll go up to amazon fba uh, let me clear some space here and i will just pause the video real quick um, okay, right, we're back, and I've actually just remembered, I also bought some clothes. Um, nothing too major, but I really don't know anything about clothes at all. I have no clue. But I got this because I thought this was quite a nice uh, seasonal t-shirt. And it says, it's the most wonderful time for a beer. And there's like a little Christmas beer on that. Um, all of these I would have paid either two or three quid. Oh, actually no, one pound for that one. Um, and also I've got this one here, which is Mr. Bump, Bump and Grind. Yes, that one, that one's pretty decent. It looks like he's got bits missing, but it's actually, I've noticed on other shirts it's the same. I think it's just a design because that goes all the way down. So yeah, Mr. Bump, Bump and Grind. I paid a couple of quid for that. Probably looking at maybe ten. Hoping for ten. There's uh, Steve Green on my screen there. Just watching, catching up on some videos that I've been missing out on. Uh, right, uh, let's have a look at this one. This one is actually a Paralympic uh, Team GB uh, shirt. I've seen these go for like 15, 20 quid. Uh, but not this exact style. But it's Adidas. It's got the Paralympic Team GB like logos on the stuff, it's a bit, the lighting isn't that great, but let me try and, yeah, there we go, Paralympics GB, um, so I don't really know too much about that one, but I'm going to hope for maybe 10, 15 quid, uh, this one, I don't really know what they call these, it's like a rain sort of MAC material, but there's no zip or anything, it's just like over the, over the head, and it's a Canterbury, Upminster, uh, I'm guessing that's Rugby something club or RFC, I'm not too sure. Um, I've seen these go for uh, sort of 15, 20 quid, I, but once again I've not seen this exact one. Uh, let me try and get out a bit actually. So yeah, I'm not too sure, it's in good nick, uh, no marks or anything, so I'll try 10, 15 quid. Um, then there's this one, 
I'd never heard of the name before, but it turns out the name isn't actually that great. It's um, Beck and Hersey, or Hershey. I uh, don't really know too much about them. But it was cheap and it had a good design on it. And I thought, well, that, that's a pretty cool design. I've not seen this exact one on eBay. Uh, I may get only eight to ten pounds for that. So I paid three. So maybe a bit too much for that. But well, you've got to learn, haven't you? So that's that one. And lastly for the clothing is this hoodie. And it's a Minecraft hoodie. Um, and it's called Ender Dragon, I believe, because I searched it up online. Brand new, these are going for £17 on eBay. Um, I paid a pound for this, so I'm going to maybe aim for around £12.99, £13.99, something like that. Okay, so that's the clothing. Right, next up, we have this. Now, when I was a kid, um, I used to watch Monster Trucks on Sky One. And the main monster truck was a guy called Gravedigger. And this is actually him, this is Gravedigger. Um, if it focuses, there we go, yeah, this is Gravedigger. And when you hit the front wheels, he, a little skull pops out. It's really, really cool. I don't know if there's much money in him. Maybe not, but yeah, it's pretty cool nonetheless. So yeah, uh, I paid 50p for him. So there's got to be some money in that. There's a lot of fans of Gravedigger still, so... Yeah, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, next up is this, which is a uh, Neon Genesis Evangelon. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, test type EVA 01, the hardcore mould. And it's a boxed figure. Um, that all the bits are in there, even though it doesn't look like it. Some bits have actually fallen like down to the bottom here. But all the bits are in there. Um, I'm looking at 20, 25 quid on this, and I paid two pounds for this. Um, it was literally just going out. Uh, I don't think there's even a price sticker on it, but I just sort of, I noticed it, and I said, "Oh, um, how much do you for your figure?" And she went, "Oh, I don't really know where it is. It looks pretty good, doesn't it?" And I was like, "Oh, it looks okay. I don't want to say yeah, it looks fantastic." Um, and she went, "Oh, say two pound because I've not priced it up." So I thought, "Yeah, I'll have that for two quid." Uh, I've I've had a quick look on eBay and it is like 20 quid, maybe 15 low end, but that's still not too bad. Um, I've not checked Amazon, there is a barcode there, so, but yeah, so that'll be 15, 20 quid. Uh, next up, I couldn't believe I saw this, this was really good. Um, this was £3.50, it's not going to focus again, but £3.50, let's try this, here we go. £3.50 and it's a uh, Wacom uh, tablet and these, it's a bit of an, an older model but I know these because um, most of you guys know that I used to do a ton of graphic design that's what I used to really do to pay the bills before going to reselling and um, it, this I mean these were really expensive the Wacom tablets very expensive so um, the fact that I saw one for £3.50 I was going to act on that all day long. Um, I'm looking at 30 to 35 quid for this on... I think it's 30 to 35 on Amazon. I don't know how much it is on eBay. Maybe a little bit less. Because it is a... Let's say it is an older model. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it says Mac and Windows. Yeah, yeah. See, Windows XP. But it will still work on Windows 10 and all that. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool for £3.50. Uh, next up, uh, I won't take all this out because it is quite big, but um, it's actually an Aladdin duvet and pillowcase set. Um, so I've been watching a lot of uh, Fake Rachel's videos and she does really well with duvet sets, especially Disney stuff. Uh, I paid £2 for this set and I'm looking on eBay, they tend to go for about 15 20 quid, uh, 20 is like top end, but... Yeah, he's easily 13 to 16 pounds for these so um, yeah and it's in really great nick as well so that's pretty cool right final lot um, I have this which is a Mega Block Skylander Giants Spiral set I paid three pound as you can see um, I knew Mega Blocks wasn't like really sought after but it was a complete box and all the bits are in there um, albeit in little bags now, 
but um, Amazon it's about 20 25 quid there are people trying to get rid of it for like four but that's their issue isn't it so um, eBay quite easily 10 to 15 pounds so not as much money as I wanted but if I aim for 15 pounds for Christmas that might just go um, next up we have a Pixar Disney Cars electronic racing quiz um, doesn't go for much about sort of 10 to 10 to 13 pounds on eBay um, I tried scanning it to Amazon but there nothing came up um, but I may just have to do a um, uh, a text search for it so electronic racing quiz as I say 13 maybe 15 top end I paid one pound fifty all these are complete so uh, un incomplete games I now just throw in the bin to be honest I don't even sell the bits so okay so that's that then there's this one here um, Disney Pictionary but it's a Pixar edition um, I, I think it's Pix the, um, Pixar sorry Disney edition yeah sorry Disney edition um, all there it's all good as you can see by the way it draws Tomato is pretty it's pretty cool it's kind of like draws in in stages so yeah so that's pretty good it's all complete uh, Amazon you're looking at 20 quid 25 eBay I'm not sure and I paid £1.99 uh, this one I'm still not really sure about this this is Dragon Attack and it's a puzzle I paid three quid um, and it's only because I've got another one called Dragon Spell at the moment, which I'm trying to get £30 for. So I might actually bundle this one up with the other one and still charge 30 but now I have two. I paid £1.50 for the other one. Well, I think I did anyway, and this was £3, so... They'll go for Christmas, but... Yeah, they're, they're very odd puzzles, as there's not many of them around. Uh, then we have this one. Don't know too much about this. I've not checked out the price... Um, it's basically Mousetrap, but a Disney Pixar Ratatouille version. So you get like all the pots and the knives that spin and cups that fall over and stuff. It's really quite different. It, it may not be worth much. I, I really, I only literally got this today, and I'm filming this right after getting getting home. So uh, I paid three ninety nine on that. So paid paid up on that really, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's quite a thick box. Um, Disney Pixar always sells. How much for? I have no idea. So, I uh, saw one of these today. I had to get it after seeing, I believe it was Ben Fitzpatrick. Pick one up. Uh, Told me big fun. Uh, big loader set. Uh, complete. It may have, I'm not actually, I'm not sure if it was Ben or Adam. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Ben. But, yeah. So, I paid 5 99 for that. So, I really did pay up. But um, it's in great condition and it is complete. So that's pretty cool. Uh, right, let's shove them back. I picked up this because um, it was a pound. And you normally get it with a statue. So, But people have been buying these by themselves. It's just like some sort of Gollum special edition DVD and stuff. Um, it's about seven or eight quid. So there's a bit of money left in that. I uh, picked up Samba the Amigo on the Nintendo Wii. Um, I picked this up. This is pound fifty-nine. So I'm not too sure what I'll get for that. Or I might just bundle it in with some others. Um, I got Eden. Uh, sorry, Child of Eden. Max Payne 2 and Guitar Hero Aerosmith. pound fifty each, as you can see. All on the Xbox 360. Once again, I make bundles... Um, and sometimes if they're worth something on their own, um, they, I mean that one might be worth something on its own, or waiting for a guitar, and this one, I don't know, so, yeah, so that's those. Um, got some nice bundles, there's a, there's a place I go to, a shop I go to, that do 15 DVDs for £5, so what I did was I got um, a Madagascar bundle, so you've got all three Madagascars plus Merry Madagascar, the penguins of Madagascar as well. Um, I've also got like a Christmas bundle, which will also include things like flushed away. Uh, sorry, not the Christmas bundle. The Christmas bundle will be like there, I think. So you've got SpongeBob SquarePants, Christmas Simpsons, the How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Christmas Express. Um, I think uh, a night before Christmas, but it's like the, a mouse's tale. 
um, then like another little animated Dis um, Christmas film but also Flushed Away, Monster House, Ratatouille uh, but I also got a Shrek bundle um, which I'm the bundles Madagascar and Shrek bundles I'm looking at like 15 to 20 quid each bundle so that's really good but it's Shrek 1, 2, 3 and 4 plus Shrek the Halls, Scared Shrekless and Puss in Boots um, but I also got Alice which is a special edition Bolt Atlantis, Little Mermaid, Special Edition, uh, Home on the Range, don't think that's a special one, Tarzan Special, but also Planes and Cars, so I'll make like three or four bundles out of those. I paid £10 for all of them, and I'll, I'll easily make 40 to 50 quid selling those, uh, no, no problem at all. Um, I've got a Puzz 3D, actually I'm going to pause it and just move the DVDs. Okay, so uh, DVDs have been moved, I've got a Puzz 3D, this is uh, Paris. Um, it's only about 15 quid's worth, unfortunately, but I only paid a pound. I'll see how much it goes for on Amazon as I've not scanned it in yet. Um, so I'll move that over here. And lastly, the last two things is a Mario Kart Wii um, Carrera Gold Racing set. Um, there's like two or three bits missing, but I can source them. Um, if I can, I paid 15 quid on this. I'm not sure if the label's still. I don't think the label's on it, but yeah, I paid 15 pounds in a charity shop, and uh, I should get 35, 30 low end. So I'll double my money, no problem there. Um, even with the bits that I need to replace, it's got like the both of the cars at least. So because you get um, Luigi and Mario, so that's that. And also, once again, I'm going to pause and just quickly move this. Okay, and the find of the day for me was this Lego Exo Force 7709 set. You can see how big this set is. I mean, it is massive. Uh, I paid up on this. I paid 30 quid, which I didn't scan it in, but I thought, you know what? For a set this big, 30 pounds, that's got to be good. Um, I've opened up my own BrickLink store now, so I thought, worst case, I'll just basically keep all the parts and, and just sell, sell it for you know, for parts, and I'm bound to make more than 30 quid. But, it turns out, this is actually a lot better than I expected. Because, not only is all this here, it's all complete, but there's actually some additional ones. There is also, um, 7708, and maybe 7707 as well. There's like three or four sets in here. Um, on, the other sets on their own go for like 8 to 10 quid. They're nothing special, but, this set boxed like this high end goes for about 65 to 70 quid. So I'm actually going to put all of it up for 100 pounds. So you get this set plus the three other sets. Not uh, 99.99 most probably. And I'm hoping someone will snap that up. But uh, yeah, I mean to, to actually get a complete a set this big. Um, to get a complete set like that in a charity shop is pretty good. Um, actually, I say complete. I think what I am missing some of those uh, discs that fire but i can get them on brick link so that's not a problem so yeah that's it thank you for watching um i hope you guys have enjoyed it it's pretty big haul and it took forever to uh, get it home <laughs> but um but yeah so anyway thanks for watching um i do appreciate all the watchers and all the subscribers i'm coming up to like a thousand subs now so i'm pretty proud of that to be honest i hope you guys are still enjoying it, all the videos Thank you, and uh, I'll catch up again with you soon. Cheers.